Hello, this is Daniel Mart, and today I'm going to be doing another review, and this is going to be for Grace Point Episode 6. Episode 6. Um, so yeah, before I begin, though, 10 second spoiler warning, as usual, for those who want to check it out and haven't already yet, um, stop the video, go check it out, and come back and watch the rest of this review. 10 second spoiler warning, as usual, starting now. Okay, so 10 seconds are up, so for those who have yet to actually watch the episode and haven't already, um, please don't comment down below or be messaging me that I never gave you a fair one, because as usual, I did. Um, so yeah, um, be, so yeah, um, as usual, um, quick synopsis, like in this sec, and then the rate. Um, so, <clears throat> so basically in this episode you have, um, Jack, um, Reinhold, who is again the fisherman, and basically what's going on with him is that the whole com all of Grace Point has basically found out his um, past, his secret, you know, that he was a supposed um, child molester, child rapist, um, supposed. Um, you know, the police are trying to protect him, but at the same time, you know, interrogate him, see what's going on. Um, and, yeah, um, basically his past is that he was accused of child raping, but he in reality was not really raping anybody um basically he was a piano teacher at first you know he used to be a piano teacher back back when, in, in his 30s um he taught this girl who was like 17 at the time and you know they kind of hit it off due to the fact that she was a minor you know that happened her dad the girl's dad found out um accused accused reinhold of raping her um and when he got out of jail, about two or three years later, he married her, and then, you know, the wife, you know, they got married, um, had a child, um, uh, and then the child and the wife both died in a car crash, and basically, Jack Reinhold, he moved to Grace Point to basically forget his past, and it appears that his past has basically come back to bite him in the ass. Um, so, yeah, that's basically the bulk of it, and also at the end of the episode, Jack Reinhold dies. He commits suicide. He, you know, after seeing every, after, you know, all the bigotry, after nobody really understanding him, trying to hear his side of the story during the during his um during his time in jail and whatever, you know, back then, um, nobody trying to hear his case. He basically grabs a photo of him and his family back when he was younger, goes out to the sea and basically drowns himself suicide because he doesn't want to be accused of something that he didn't do again. Um. So yeah, um, sucks that he died. Um, he was actually one of the better characters in this series, I do have to say, but, you know, if it's your time to go, it's your time to go, I guess. Um, he yeah, actually was a pretty likable, well, as likable as can be for a series that, such as this. He was a pretty good character, well developed. Um, I, you know, I, they did give him a, two full episodes in a sense, so, you know, episode five and episode six. So, you know, I guess, maybe um yeah i i'm pretty sure his death is gonna have some effects late um in the next upcoming episodes the next four episodes because the this series ends at episode 10 so yeah um i mean aside from that you know you also have um you really don't have much else i could think of um you know you have vince trying to form a lynch mob for reinhold basically this whole episode revolves around revolves around Reinhold, you know, Jack Reinhold and his past and people trying to kill him because, you know, they want to bring justice thinking that he's the one who possibly did it. Um, people are trying to gather evidence to point at him as murder, even though, you know, like the people aside, you know, outside the police force, the other people such as Vince and Owen, um, and, and D'Angelo and Chloe, they're all trying to like point fingers at Reinhold as him being the killer. And then you have some pretty interesting evidence that points Susan as the killer, who is the old, weird old lady with the dog, which I'm pretty sure she's, she is the killer, at least she has some kind of hands in it, um, you know, she's somehow, in, um, in it, so, pretty good episode as a whole, as, you know, as usual, the, the acting has gotten tons better since the first episode, um, I also do like the writing, the writing has also gotten tons better at the 
since the first episode. I mean, everything about this um, show so far has been, you know, has been getting better and better. Acting and writing wise, also character development overall, it was a pretty great episode. Um, I mean, there's really very little I can say that I didn't like. I mean, there's some parts where Owen seemed a bit uncharacteristic of him because Owen, he's the newspaper boy. Because he always seems so outgoing and whatnot, and then in this episode he kind of just shut down, which is kind of weird. And then we also had the scene with um with Owen's mom, um who's after Owen's mom and then Owen's aunt who is a Miller. So we saw Miller and Owen's mom kind of talk, which was kind of weird. It was a, it was a very odd scene, so I don't know what to make out of it. Um, she has some information on the death of Solano, but she's not gonna give us. She's not gonna work it over unless she gets a thousand dollars. So there's that. But just the, the Owen seemed a little bit uncharacteristic of himself as um than we we're expected to see him as. And also in that one scene with his mom was just weird. Um, there's also another scene with um Susan who was the old lady with the dog and she's talking to um Tom right Tom Tommy who is Miller's son and they're like in the in the post office. And she said, you know, you can walk the dog whenever you want. And it's like a really creepy face. Um, so, yeah, I mean, she's a, she, I'm pretty sure she's the killer or somehow involved in the killing. Um, yeah, but aside from that, Owen was just acting a bit uncharacteristic, especially in this one scene. Um, and then you also have that one scene with the suit with the mom and Miller, which was kind of weird. But aside from that, there's really little stuff not to like about this episode. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best, and 6 being decent, I give this episode an, an 8.5 out of 10. It's a pretty great episode. Definitely do check this series out if you haven't already. Um, I mean, it is going to be on its 7th episode by next week, but it's a 10 episode mini series. I'm pretty sure you can catch up to it very fast. And, you know, just binge watch everything. So, yeah, that's basically it for now. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I do movie reviews, TV show reviews, and comic book reviews. So definitely do stay tuned for that. Besides that, comment down below on your thoughts on this week's episode. What were your thoughts on it? Comment on that down below. And no, besides that, like the video, share on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or whatever you guys prefer. And that's basically it for now. This is Daniel Mart signing off.